welcome to Tubbs Presents, a celebration of the cosplaying ducks on their two-year anniversary. Today, we'll share with you a little bit more about how Tubbs came to be. We'll show off some of our fave moments with the Tubbs community and also give you a preview of what's on the horizon for the brand in the future, specifically our Stranger Things range. As well as that preview, we'll also be given these new Tubbs away, so keep your eyes on the video for more information on how to win the new tubs from Hawkins, Indiana. First up, we're going to give you a bit of a behind the scenes look at tubs and their development process. Hi everyone, I'm Mark and today I am joined by Carl Meisen, who is the creative director here at Numskull. Carl, great to be joining you today to chat a little bit about Tubbs. You've obviously had a lot to do with the brand ever since its creation and inception. Do you want to tell everyone a little bit more about yourself and your role at Numskull? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Um, so yeah, I'm the creative director at Numskull. Um, so I look after the design studio and the teams within. Um, so we have two fairly big teams of 2D designers and 3D designers. Um, obviously at Numskull, produce a kind of a wide variety of product. And yeah, Tubbs actually come to us by complete chance. Um, it was someone that we know outside of the business or well, their partner had been on holiday and brought home um, a very cheap, unlicensed rubber duck. I mean, we were kind of underwhelmed with it and we straight away kind of started to pull this thing apart, saying obviously, if we had made this, we would have done that. We would have done that. That was kind of the light bulb moment where we're like, hold on a sec, could we, could we yeah. actually create Tubbs? Um, I mean, we work with so many amazing publishers where you have access to a lot of characters and we had always been toying with the idea of what product we could make that would work across all of those, using all of those characters. And that was just at the time we thought, could ducks be it? We basically just started to kind of do all the concepts and creations from there. Was uh, was there any other kind of names that floated into the hat? Because Tubbs is a quite distinct name and I, I've heard a few murmurings <laughs> internally yeah. about some possible names, which I'm happy we didn't go with. No, well, it's funny. So the original um, <laughs> the original name was Tubbies. Yeah, that's um, what I was thinking those, about. Yeah, it's Tubbies. <laughs> so I, I, I was... I was distraught when we had to drop that, but it, it sounds strange. <laughs> We'd been calling it Tubbies for so long. Yeah. Kind of like changing the name of it, your two-year-old child. Yeah, it's just, yeah. we were so used to calling it Tubbies. Um, and where that come from was, we wanted it to go in a bathtub, uh, and it was your little buddy. So bathtub yeah. buddies, from Tubbies. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad <laughs> we had to change it now. Um, but yeah, it's one of those where you kind of have to do checks to, to make sure you can use certain terms and things, and it just turned out yeah. that we, we couldn't go with Tubbies. Bit of a blessing in disguise, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Straight away, we wanted to class this as um, like a collectible, a collectible model, um, a figurine almost. Yeah. So there's a there's a huge difference between how a rubber duck is made and then how a, a figurine is made. Straight away, it, if you want to go down that route and just make it a kind of traditional rubber duck, you have very soft details. You don't get the detail that we really wanted. So we were like, let's just look at this as a model. So I mean, the first instance was obviously when we had created the first concept, it was actually working with the manufacturers and seeing the, kind, the level of details we could get. We were always trying to push, we wanted as much detail as possible. Um, I mean, you, you'll see things like Gandalf, you can see the, the texture, in the fabric and um, things like that which we're, it's things we can get into the mold um, and basically we do that by using a, a very hard vinyl and it just means we can get so much more detail in when we initially go go in and find a character and decide what we want to do we'll just start with kind of mood boards so we'll decide who the character is going to be what are they going to be wearing i mean we work with the publisher on that make sure that they're happy with that um, at, at the start there's been instances where we've been so excited about the character we just kind of dove in and made it. And if the publisher comes back and says, actually, we don't like that outfit, yeah. it's a lot of work, then go back and start again. So we'll work with them kind of flat work first. Um, and then really once uh, once that's signed off, the guys will jump straight in and, and and begin to make the 3D models. And I think we've been doing it for so long now, we kind of know what the limitations are at the start. Yeah. We would really try and push the boundaries, but now we we'll know, we'll know what we can do. And, and obviously that detail, we we'll, we'll know the level of detail what we can, we can get to now what challenges have you guys had to actually face whilst developing tubs because i'm imagining there's a few <laughs> yeah there's a lot i mean like i say it was two year development um we kind of set out a list of what we wanted to achieve what we wanted i mean the main one was we did want them to float um yep. it, it was a rubber duck and we thought yeah it, it makes sense for them to float 
Um, but you'll find the ducks are float or symmetrical, and it's just mm -hmm. a kind of standard. We call it like the wing back pose, where it's just the uh, duck right. wing folded back. Yeah. As soon as we started adding guns and bow and arrows, they were just they yeah, were it's just never going to balance. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, we've done a lot of experimentation with um, we're adding weights to the ducks. I think it was one point where we're going to create like a an additional. Basically, it was a weighted bottom which looked like duck's feet. So right. You like yeah. stuck the duck on and that would pull it down. But you yeah. find with a lot of ours where they had so much detail, even with that weight, the duck would like sink to neck level. So it would just yeah. be like a duck's head floating in the bath and it just looked a little bit weird. And we're sitting around the table. We had a, actually had a bucket of water in the middle of the table. And we're all kind of experimenting. And then we're just looking at the bathtub that the, that the duck comes in. So it's a very yeah. shallow, small tub, which we always wanted them to come in a tub. Um, hence the name tubs um, and we just put it in this bowl of water put the duck in and the, the ducks actually float perfectly well if you kind of put them in the bath but yeah that, that was probably the toughest thing to let go because we really wanted yeah. it to work but we'd have to give up I mean we'll get some amazing kind of dynamic um, poses yeah we didn't want to lose that so that the so that they could float you know well looking at the backdrop behind you that obviously was showing off a fair few of the tubs that have been created over the past yeah. two years do yeah. you actually have any favorites i would say i'm a big fan of ghostbusters i'd say ghostbusters yeah. is probably my favorite and, and i think the, it was very nice touch that we managed to get um stay puffed the smell of marshmallows as well yeah so so i, I would say they're my favorite now it's the kind of 80s movies there's a few coming up which I probably shouldn't mention. I mean, it is quite amazing sometimes when we do launch a new range. Obviously, yep. we're aware it's been around for two years. They're well known, but I think there's still a lot of people that wouldn't get these two. Yeah, it's just that push really just to to get them get them out there, get them global. Another highlight for Tubbs over the past year has easily been the creation of our fan group, The Tubbs Club, which you can find on Facebook via this QR code link. This has been a community we've developed for our followers to share images of their Tubbs collections, memes, custom paint jobs, and suggestions for who they'd like to see become a Tubbs in the future. We even offer secret previews of our new announcements before we go public with our launches, so you can get a little bit of a sneak peek at what's coming up in the horizon. For us as a brand, we've absolutely loved chatting with you on the Tubbs Club, as it really has revealed who the superfans are, and you can't announce a Tubbs superfan without mentioning Vincenzo. Vince has been a leading member of the community, largely down to his amazing enthusiasm towards tubs across the board, and he has bought every single tubs we've ever released. Dubbing himself the tubs collector, we've absolutely loved seeing his collection grow with each month as his display becomes more and more impressive. We've created a lot of 3D tubs for the benefit of our favorite influencers and celebrities, but creating Vincenzo's as a thank you for all the support he's given us is easily one that we will forever cherish. Here he is recreated as a tubs in all his glory. Quite the likeness, right? Maybe one day we'll create those super cute miniature tubs that he holds in his arms. We'll leave a link in the video description to the tubs club. We'd love to see you there. It's time for what you've all been waiting for, the exclusive reveal of our Stranger Things tubs and the accompanying giveaway. Hi everyone, so it's the moment we've all been waiting for, the reveal of our Stranger Things tubs. Super excited to show these off, so let's just get straight into it. We're starting things off with the reveal of Eleven. Here she is in all her glory in tubs form. I won't show you the other side of the packaging just yet because it will reveal the other characters and who they are. So we've got this cool Stranger Things branding on the packaging, showing off the boys on their bikes. But that's not what we care about at the moment. Let's see Eleven up close and personal. Here she is. So this is obviously based on her season one design. After she's already met the boys, we've got uh, we've got the iconic waffles that she picks up from the uh, the supermarket. But um, yeah, we've got the the cool pink dress, the uh, the jacket that she borrows, and we've got the shaved head look as well. So this is before she's done in the wig or after she's taken it off i oh know it's after she's taken it off she's holding the waffles it's probably one of her most iconic looks from season one and now you'll be able to collect her in the form of a rubber duck next up we've got jim hopper who is number two in the stranger things lineup and yeah the uh, the likeness is just awesome we've got the hawkins police logo on his outfit 
got his sheriff badge, got his name tag, and if this is one of the first times you're taking a look at tubs, you kind of notice there really is a lot of intrinsic detail, but look at that, look at that holster with the gun. It looks very, very nice, very, very detailed. He looks quite grumpy, he's got his morning coffee, or afternoon coffee maybe, but um, he's got his hat as well, and just, yeah very easy to recognize him. Number three is straight here from the upside down. What a rubber duck this is. As if you ever imagined you'd see the Demogorgon as a rubber duck. Yeah, I mean, the detail in this is great. You've got um, all the kind of the ridges in the design of the Demogorgon anyway. It's quite a disturbing looking creature in the show itself. But then inside the flower-like flaps that open up on the face, we expose a duck bill within. So <laughs> a really creative take on the character and definitely a creative take on the rubber duck. Up until this point most of the characters have kind of been based on season one counterparts so we're also happy to show off Steve Harrington, the season three look from his Scoops Ahoy days. Um, yeah I mean of course this is Steve, look at that hairdo and yeah the Scoops Ahoy outfit is super super cute. We've got the little ice cream on the shoulder We've got Steve's name badge right there. And yeah, it's just amazing detail. Yes, again, the design team have done great work as usual. The Stranger Things tubs will be available for pre-order after this video is aired. If you're an enthusiast of the show, much like us, I'm sure you won't be able to wait until you can get a hold of all of them. If there are any other Stranger Things characters you'd like to see come to the world of tubs, just let us know in the comments section. So what did you think of that exclusive preview? The Stranger Things tubs are looking great and we can't wait to release them. If you'd like a chance to win the samples we showed off today, all you need to do is like the video, drop a comment down below telling us which of these you most like the look of and also subscribing to our YouTube channel. We'll pick a winner at the end of August, so you'd better make sure you are quick. There's plenty more for the cosplaying ducks to come in 2021. We hope you enjoy what's on the horizon and thank you once again for all the support across what has been a challenging time for businesses across the globe. This has been Tubbs Presents and we thank you for all the duck enthusiasm.